Hello, my name is Tudi from IRC Japan. I'm deeply honored to learn that Japan was ranked as one of the top countries for healthy life expectancy and for the population of centenarians in the total population. I would also like to thank the event organizer for giving me this opportunity to speak today. First, let me share my thoughts on the history of Japan's effort to help us achieve longevity. Since the end of World War II, Japan has worked hard to develop social security systems. For example, we have improved environment sanitation in local communities, built a maternal and child health system, and improved people's nutritious status. We have moved public health policies as well, including a vaccination system to prevent infectious diseases. Later on, along with the country's economic development, we have also built a public health care insurance system covering all citizens, as well as a system for medical care provision. In 1947, Soon after World War II, our average life expectancy was just above 50 years. But through these efforts, our average life expectancy and healthy life expectancy have shown steady growth. We should remember that the biggest factor behind such accomplishments is improvement in people's living standard thanks to the country's economic development and sustained peace. One of the older people now living in Japan, I'm truly grateful for such history of the country. Meanwhile, in Japan, people aged 65 or older already accounted for 29% of the total population in 2023. Our big challenge is in to finding ways to ensure the sustainability of our social security system as the population keeps aging. Also, our total fertility rate has recently decreased to 1.20, despite policy efforts in, in, to increase it. Addressing population decline along with low birth rate is therefore a new and serious challenge we face. Nevertheless, we are not pessimistic about this trend. Ending longevity living to 100 is what people have wished for. We aim to develop local communities that enable everyone to enjoy a truly rich life. In such communities, Everyone can stay healthy as long as possible and can live comfortably even when their functions decline. Along with efforts to pass this true richness to the next generation, we also strive to increase the country's birth rate once again. For healthy life expectancy, therefore, we should not be content with where we are now. Our duty is further increase it and close the gap with average life expectancy. As an example of Japan's initiatives to address these challenges, let me introduce a program in which IOC Japan serve. Our challenges are not limited to addressing diseases. Recently, skyrocketing demand for long-term care services is also a challenge we face. In response, we are working to propose the society-wide promotion of a population approach for frailty prevention based on existing academic research. It means preventing frailty before people start needing care when their condition is more reversible. 
we aim to start developing an evidence-based national movement in the fall of 2024. This will be a joint effort by local governments, business, and academia. Before I finish, please allow me to thank you once again for this award, and I wish you the best for the further development of the Going for Gold project to help bring happiness to people across the world. Thank you very much. <laughs>